The elite troops drove their armored vehicles to the gangster's lair. It didn't take long for the gangsters to give it all a clean sweep. But after Captain Andrew took pictures of the captured weapons and passed them on to his superiors for verification, he realized that none of them were lost by the police department. None of the guns were the ones lost by the police. Luckily, they captured the gang leader alive. The leader who was directly tortured and questioned, but did nothing. Even after being beaten to death, he couldn't reveal the whereabouts of the weapons. Just then, the long-awaited self-defense Captain Roka, fearing that the matter would be exposed, immediately rushed in and killed the leader with a single shot. <laughs> At this point, Andrew is still completely unaware that all this is just a scene made up by the self-defense forces. Andrew says that he must go back and make Roka write a written report. Next thing you know, they're giving Andrew a high-profile funeral. <laughs>